In this video, we'll be solving data interpretation question. The question numbers are from 16 to 20. So, here, the first of all, in data interpretation, uh, you have to understand the long ways correctly, right? So, once you understand the long ways and if you, once you understand the diagram, your questions will be very easy. So, majority of the questions of data interpretation will be on percentages and averages and fractions. That's it, right? So, you are, if you are good at arithmetic, then your data interpretation will be very easy. Now, what is, first of all, read the information properly. The bar graph given below shows the data of the production of paper in lakhs of tons, okay, by three different companies X, Y, Z. Now here X is indicated in blue, Y is indicated in, indicated in red, and Z is indicated in green. These are the years, num uh, X, Y, Z over three years, over the years, right? Over the years, years are also given, 96 to 2000. And here on y-axis you are given lakhs of tons, numbers are given, right? Now everything looks fine. Now the first question, 16th question says, for which of the following years the percentage, here it is saying percentage, right? Percentage rise or fall in the production uh, from the previous year is the maximum for company Y. Company Y means red color bar, directly go to the red color bars. Now, whenever you are asked, uh, there is a major difference between rise and fall and percentage rise and fall. So, percentage means what? Percentage, you should be careful with percentage. Percentage means normally we compare one number and another number. So, suppose if I have 10 here, if I have, let, it, let me write here, if I have 10 here, if I have 20 here, what is the percentage increase from 10 to 20? So, that means here base will be 10. So, in percentages, your base is very important. Which number you are taking as base? Right? So, what is the percentage here, increase here? So, how will you do that? Uh, latest number minus old number by old number into 100. That is the normal formula you use, right? But then, I will tell you in a different way how to in, uh, interpret this percentages. Now, if you go by traditional way, you solve this like this. 20 minus 10 by 10 into 100, which gives you... Uh, 10 by 10 it will be 100 percent so that way it is 100 percent right now I'll ask you one more question if I if I say what is the percentage increase from 15 to 20 now you'll write it as 20 minus 15 by 15 into 100 so this gives you 5 by 15 into 100 that will be 1 by 3 into 100 which will be 33.33 percent so instead of doing all these things, you can directly write like this. 15 to 120 means you can write 20 by 15 and this will be 4 by 3 and this will be 1 by 3. That means 33.33%. So how can, how am I able to write this way is, see here, simple. Now, understand one concept here. 15 is becoming 20, right? 15 is becoming 20. How can 15 become 20? You need to multiply 15 with something, right? So that is called multiplication factor. By what number, if I multiply 15, it will give me 20. Simple, it will, you have to multiply 15 with 20 by 15. Only then you will get 20, right? Now, what is this 20 by 15? This is called multiplication factor. So, if you are multiplying some number with the multiplication factor, you will be getting a new number. So, there are many advantages of this multiplication factor. This number 20 by 15 will give you lot of information. Right? So, this tells you that 20 by 15 means if you simplify it, it will give you uh, 4 by 3. That's it. 4 by 3 says that there is an increase of 1 on top of 3. So, initially your number is 3, now the, it is 4. That means there is an increase of 1 on top of 3. So, in, in percentage terms, how will you write? There is an increase of 1 on, on top of 3 that will give you 33.33%. That's it. This is how you get your answer. Now, Whenever you are doing percentages, increase or decrease, you are trying to find that. Don't use uh, formulas or don't use uh, x minus y by x into 100, that kind of logics. Instead, directly go by this multiplication factor logic. Right? Now, let us solve this question. Now, to solve this, he is saying, which year there is an increase of, par uh, there is a maximum rise or fall. Right? So, uh, for company Y. So, directly start with the red color bar here. When you are comparing these two things, 96 and 97, 
see this is 25 and one more thing you have to identify here is in the diagram each gap represent a value of 5 right total two gaps will be 10 that's it so your basic unit uh, one gap will be equal to 5 that's what you have to uh, note it down here now here if you see this is 25 this is 25 and this is 35 and here again it is 35 and this is 40 and this is 50 that's it now to find the percentage increase what you will do is okay directly from here to here here to here you write it as 35 by 25 from here to here there is no increase so cancel this not required from here to here 40 by 35 from here to here 50 by 40 that's it now if you take this one you can do it orally 35 by 45 means 7 by 5 7 by 5 this one now this one 40 by 35 means it will be 8 by 7 this will be 5 by 4 now you can calculate the percentage right now this will 7 by 5 means you will write it as 2 by 5 into 100 which gives you 40 percent this one 8 by 7 means 1 by 7 1 by 7 means 14.28 percent this is 14.28 percent and this is 1 by 4 means uh, 5 by 4 means 1 by 4 1 by 4 is 25 percent that's it so your answer will be this one 96 to 97 so answer will be 97 that's it right so first of all you need to understand how to calculate the percentages easily now again i'll repeat here see this how did I write directly 35 by 25? What did I tell you? 25 is becoming 35. That means 25 is getting multiplied by 35 by 25. Right? This is called multiplication factor. You are multiplying 25 with the 35 by 25. So 35 by 25 is nothing but 7 by 5. 7 by 5 means 7 by 5 is a multiplication factor. So 7 by 5 means 2 by 5. That's it. There is an increase of 2 on top of 5. So 2 by 5 as in percentage terms, you will get 40%. That's it. Right? Now, Let's move on to our second question. Right, this is A. Now, what is the ratio of the average production of company X in 98 to 2000? 2000, okay? Company X means it is blue color. From here to here, he is asking the ratio. Simple again. So, this one, this blue bar here is, uh, for the first let us calculate for uh, X. So, X, uh, it will be 25, this 50, and this is 40 so it will be uh, 9 10 11 1 1 5 and uh, y for y means it is red color again 98 to 2000 that's what they're asking what is the ratio of the average production okay so average production means again you need not uh, divide this by 3 why because they are asking average that is fine but they are asking ratio right so when you I, i'll come to that anyway first red, let's calculate for red one this is 35 this is 40 and this is 50 so you get 9 10 11 12 125 right so if don't try to calculate average directly like this anyway this will be the average since this is ratio this and this get, gets cancelled so it will be 5 2 are 5 3 is this one 5 2 are 5 5 is 23 to 25 so your answer will be c right right now the uh, 18th question the average production of five years was maximum for which company now the traditional way of solving this question is if you take x uh, y z you have to calculate the average for all these three companies so x what you will do is average means you will start adding all the values of x then you divide by five and then the same way you repeat for y and repeat for z if you do it manually it takes time so avoid that method so i'll tell you a method by which you can solve this question by visual inspection itself right now if you see my averages lecture there i told you what exactly is average average is, is nothing but you have to take one average okay you fix one average then whatever excess you are having here give it to the deficit person and make all them all of them equal right that is called average so so here for calculating the average of x what i do is these blue color bars are there right so here i'll fix one line which is almost uh, near to or uh, i will take one uh, number as an average which is almost nearer to all the blue numbers so let me suppose this 35 is the average here this is a bar i'm drawing here so if i'm expecting if i'm uh, uh, presuming that my average is x right now uh, my average is 35 so see here 
as I told you earlier, each bar, each gap is having a value of 5 units, right? Now here there is a gap of 1 and there is gap of 2 here. These are x's. So from here one gap I can give it here and I can fill this, right? Now here you won't have this one anyway now. You will have only one access. So this one access I will give it to here. Here you see here two, two deficits are there. So one access I fill it here. So now this bar will have only one deficit. Now here one access is there. This one access I will give to this deficit, right? Done. So once I give this one, this gets cancelled and finally every bar will be equal uh, to this level. But here you will have three access three gaps access right go by gaps three gaps access that means there is an access of 15 so when there is an access of 15 that 15 you divide among 5 years 15 by 5 means 3 that means the new average will be 35 plus 3 which is 38 so now let me solve this for you orally now what I do is for x uh, as I told you, this uh, I can imagine this and solve the question, right? I, I will imagine that line is 5, 35. So there is a gap of 2 here. Give it 1. 1 will be there. 1 I will give it here. So it is filled. Now uh, 1 more is there. 1 I will give it from here. It is filled. Now 3 is there. Total 38 I will get. Now I will go with Y. So now I will directly write it here. So without using pen, I calculated the average. I will write it here. 38. Now for Y. Y means red color. So again I will pick up my uh, line as 35. I'll give this here so one will be there I'll give this this one okay I'll take I'm taking 35 so two gaps are there so that one is filled one is filled I'll be left with only two bars so two bars means again it will be 35 plus 2 means 10 10 by 5 which is 2 it will be 37 that's it okay see what I'm saying is this red color bar I'm taking this as y y is average here there are two deficits here one excess is there. I'll give it here, right? So one more deficit will be there. Here already three excess are there. This one I take it and give it here. Now there will be only two excess. Two excess means 10 is excess. 10 divided by 5 which is 2. That means your bar will raise it by 2. That means 35 plus 2, 37 is the average. Now, so this is x, this is y. Now calculate the average for z, similar way, oral itself. So uh, z is uh, your green color. So I'll assume my average again is 35 because 35 seems to be uh, near to all the numbers. So if you see here, uh, there is an excess of 1 here and uh, there is no excess here and there is excess of 2. That means when I took as 35, there is an excess of 3, 3 gaps. Okay, that means 15. 15 by 5 is uh, 3 again. So 35 plus 3, 38. So x, z also I'm getting as 38. That's it. So your answer will be x and z. Right. Now, so in uh, DI, don't waste your time, okay? Try to be as smart as possible. Now, in which year was the percentage production of company Z to the uh, production of company Y is maximum? Here is said percentage production of Z to Y. Okay, Z to Y means this one. In which year the, uh, was the pro percentage of production of company Z to the production of company Y is maximum? Why the maximum, right? So Y and Z, I need to calculate only till here. So this is not required. So this comparison is not required. Till here you see Y and Z. Okay, here what I will directly write this bar. Uh, so as I told you how to calculate percentages, here directly you will write by 35 by 25. And here you will write as 40 by 35. And this one, it will be uh, 45 by 35. That's it and here so this will be this is a decrease right so decrease you will write it as 35 by and this is 40 so he's saying company is z to y i'm comparing z to y so anyway this is a there is a decrease so neglected he's saying percentage of production of company z to production y is maximum right now here if you see anyway this 35 is there, 35 is there, okay? So denominator is the same, numerator is more in here, so cancel this one. Now you are left with only these two things, right? So this is 35 by 25 and this is 45 by 35. If you simplify this, 5 7 are, 5 5 are, 5 9 are, 5 7 are. So you are having true fractions here, 7 by 5 and 9 by 7, right? Now, what is the percentage increase here? It will be 2 by 5 into 100, which is 40%. Here it will be 2 by 7 into 100 which is 14.28 into 2 which is 28 point something right so 14.28 into 2 this will be 16 1 to 5 
28.56 percentage that's it okay so these are multiplication factors right so you understood how i wrote all these things right so your answer will be 1996 that's it now without using calculator without using pen we are able to solve this we are directly able to write your answers right you're coming uh, you're directly able to write your last step now what is the percentage increase in the production of company Y from 1996 to 1999 from here to here you have to check for red color what is red color here this is 25 and this is 40 so directly right here 40 by 25 this is a multiplication because 25 is here and you are asked for Y right 25 is here 40 is here so what is the multiplication factor 25 should be multiplied by 40 by 25 so that you will get 40 here so this is your multiplication factor you simplify this 5 is a 5 is a this that means this is 3 by 5 into 100 which is 60 percent that's it so your answer is d i hope this is helpful thank you